Welcome along to Rock and Rob's album review, and it's our musical interlude for the week with Rob Olgoth. How are you, mate? I'm good, Steve. You good to see yes. you? Yes, great to see you, mate. Great to see you. What musical good, good. delight are you bringing us this week? I've chose the first album I ever listened to for fully right through. Um, I remember at the time my sister borrowed it from my next door neighbor, it was 1979, but this album was out in 1978. It is. The Stranglers, uh, Black and White. And I do have the promotional copy here. Fantastic. So, yeah, stunning cover. Look at the cover of that. Monkey boots. No docks, monkey boots. Do you remember them? A <laughs> bit, bit, bit before my time. All right. Great album. Fantastic. The, um, t-shirt, yeah, the T-shirt should have been a giveaway, Rob. Feline, yeah. It's an outstanding album. That just got re-released quite recently. Um They've done a, a tour of that, you know, one of these anniversary tours. They've done it in um, Newcastle as well, the Academy. Um, they play there quite a lot. I get, like I say, it's the first album I ever listened to. Like, the intro to it, the song called Tank. Um, it doesn't say when you when you buy the album, the vinyl, it's just black and black and white, naturally. But I found out something today. I pulled this out the sleeve, and it says, on black and white vinyl. So I pulled it out. This is grey marble. Ah, didn't that's realize. excellent, isn't it? Yeah, so that was a nice story. But there's a song called Tank, which is introduction. Now, I'm not 100% sure too much on what the songs are about, because I was nine at the time, and you just love music. You love something that you attach yourself to. But the intro is just like a guitar intro. There's a drum roll, and it all just kicks in. It's To me, it's one of the best produced albums of that era. Um, it's a tough one, but I, I, I would say it's my favourite Stranglers album. This, then probably The Raven. Um, again, just another couple of things to say. I mean, Jet Black is no longer in the band. He passed away with health issues. Dave Greenfield, the wizard on keyboards, he passed away um, with COVID. Um, and COVID was on. So as it stands now, there's only Jean-Jacques Bernal on bass. Uh, Hugh Cornwall does his solo stuff. They've had a fallout. The new singer now, which I prefer, uh, Baz Warren um, from Sunderland, um, he, he does say he gets a bit of stick from Newcastle. He was with a band called the Toy Dolls before that. They used to support the Stranglers. As a vocalist, a musician, I think he's, I, think he's, I prefer him, which is a big, big statement to make. Um, it's just great to watch his vocals. He's just nailing it, and he's so consistent, and he's playing. Again, Jean-Jacques Burnell on the bass, that heavy thumping bass yeah, it's one of the best bassists in the world it has to be again new model army it's a song and this actually called um let's see curfew which my friend paul was down at the weekend see my friend and i said to him i says what do you think this song's about there's um a bit in about um the government has fled into thin air. What's left of our troops have joined with the Scots to form the defence across the north, stay in your homes, be of the street by nightfall. Uh, it's about English civil war going to... And I went, that makes sense now with the lyrics because I didn't know what they were about. Again, I was 10, nine years old, sorry. Um, so English civil war, all, Oliver Cromwell. Again, you've got Oliver's army. Now, that's a band, one of my favourite bands as well, New Model Army. That's how they got the name. Oliver Cromwell's army was called the New Model Army. So yeah. it all sort of like, seemed to tie in. I didn't realise that at the time... So it's some, some a lot of dark songs. One threatened, have you got enough time? You know what, what's going to happen when the sky goes black? What will you do when the sea comes back? But it's, it's the, the music in it. Song "Death and Night and Blood," which I'm aware it's about. Yeah, Yukio Mishima, um, sort of Japanese. I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but I know the story. I remember getting at school. Um, there's a song called "Sweden," all quiet and eastern front. Again, it's it's quite funny. The opening line was, let me tell you about Sweden, the only country where the clouds are interesting. There's nothing much to talk about Sweden. That's, that's his point in it, like cumulus nimbus floats by, etc. And they actually done a version called Sverige, and it was it was sung in Swedish. So that was released as a seven-inch single. I do have that on pink vinyl. I remember hearing it and trying to 
trying to sing it in Swedish as a, a young teen, I failed. Um, <laughs> nice and sleazy. Here's one for you. Do you you know that song, Nice and Sleazy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I didn't realise recently what it was about is um, Hell's Angels. Because you watch the video, it's pretty X-rated. It was like strippers on it. And when they played it live in Battersea Park, 1979 it would have been, or 78, there were strippers on stage. And it is about the Hell's Angels. So I, again, I spoke to my mate Paul about this, and I said, they had the Hell's Angels were doing the security for the Stranglers. And he went, what, after the Rolling Stones gig? I went, yeah. Um, and, and then you listen to the, the lyrics. It's... Um, an angel came from outside, had no halo, had no father, with a coat of many colours. So there you go. A lot of a lot of them, and I've been in a bike gang myself, and there's sometimes dysfunctional families, and you, you want a belonging. A coat of many colours being the patches. Mm, lost I you there, Rob, really a little bit. So recently, you know, we spoke of Brother Wine and Remy's Women and Song of Plenty. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, but it's, yeah, we lost, we lost you there a little bit, Rob. So we lost, we lost you there a little bit. We lost you there a little bit, just talking about patches, etc. Remy, can you just go back over the bacon story? Because okay. I missed that. Yeah, there's there's some lines in it. An angel came from outside, had no halo, had no father, with a coat of many colours. So that was about the patches and a lot of. I mean, I was in a biker gang myself, pretty recently, within the last five years. Um, you know, we, we spoke of women, song of plenty. You know, it, when you look at it, I actually thought it was nice and sleazy was about X-rated stuff. And then you listen to the words, then you pick up on it, and it's like, yeah, it was about the, the Hell's Angels. The Jean-Jacques Bernard, he's a baker himself. Um, I think he was only one, and the band was really a punk with a punk attitude. I mean, there was a story with the Stranglers fighting, and I think it was in London with some of the Clash, Paul Simon and and, and, and some others like that. Um, again, Jean Jack, he's, uh, he's a black belt. Um, I, I don't know what he does, Jiu-Jitsu or something like that, but he sees yeah. played the British Commonwealth team doing that. But um, Rise of the Robots, funny. The lyrics to that are funny, very funny. Again, if you like the Stranglers, you've not heard this for a long time, buy it. Every song is good. There's not one song like you normally get on a B-side. So it's not too great but for me personally. Everything is great. Death, Night and Blood, Enough Time. Have you got enough time? It's, again, it's about life. Threatened curfew. What's that in the shadows? So you can imagine what's about outside Tokyo. Um, Toiler on the Sea. That's a great song as well. That's a great song. I, I couldn't tell you what all the songs are about, but it's just it's just one of those albums. Uh, it's, it's absolutely sublime. And again, a shame we've lost Dave Greenfield and um, Jet Black to, well, Dave for COVID, Jet Black to um, his health problems. I went to see them. Jet Black could only do part of the gig. He only he came on with oxygen tank, just oh, to yeah. you know. Uh, Brian Duffy, that's his real name. Yeah, Jet Black. It was his band at first. Um, he picked up JJ Burnell, um, a bunch of uh, foreigners who wanted to start a band. Came to this country, they couldn't hack it. They went abroad, so Jet Black and JJ started the band. So yeah, so I mean, I always wonder if if Hugh Conwell will come back to see you know when it's. I don't know. An anniversary know. or something like that. I don't know. Well, I've done so many anniversaries with so many albums now, but I, I don't know, and I, don't, I actually don't know what the issue was with it. I don't know. There was never a problem with money because everything with that band got split four ways, no matter what. It was always that uh, everyone got the same. So I, I honestly don't know what that was about. So yeah, that was that was it. I mean, it was either that or the Raven album. But yeah, yeah, good stuff. Another good album Some selection. Album. Have you got one picked out for next week? Yes, I have. It's Simple Minds, Sparkle in the Rain, I'm going to do. Simple Minds, Sparkle in the Rain. Okay, uh, anybody yeah. out there who uh, wants to follow Rob on this uh, musical journey, get that out of your uh, loft, get the vinyl out and uh, get it played, and then uh, we can go through the review again next week. Rob, as always, yes, absolute pleasure to speak to you, mate. Take care, and I'll see you next Thanks, week. Thanks, Steve. Take care. Speak soon, mate. Bye. A big thanks to all our sponsors, Skips and Bins, telephone 0800 25 45 25 3. Email inquiries at skipsandbins.com. Website skipsandbins.com. Easy contract free and pay as you go waste collection. Thanks also to Mr. Vicky's Handmade in Cumbria. These sauces are really hot stuff. You can order them by emailing info at mrvickies.co.uk. 
or by telephoning 01768 210102. Thanks to Neil and the guys at Media Arts for all the help with the video side of things. And thanks to qtechshop.co.uk, the makers of pool tables and snooker tables in Walls End, Newcastle, and the guys who run our website, nufcmatters.com. If you want to subscribe to the show, hit the subscribe button tonight. It is free. Hit the thumb up under the video to like the video and click share to share to your other social media. If you want to join the channel, hit join. There's three different tiers. Pick the one that suits you and help support the channel financially. If you want to pay a one-off membership fee of £25 and get these goodies, a scarf, a pen, a cup, an entry into the monthly draw, then go to NUFC Matters and look for Membership Pack. Failing that, get your smartphone and put it over the QR code and it will take you straight there. We're also a podcast and you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean and other podcast providers. Usually goes up 24 hours after the show has finished. We also support the food bank on this channel. If you want to make a virtual donation today at the match day bucket, go to nufcfansfoodbank.co.uk and you can make a deposit today. Don't forget to enter the Shira raffle. There's 150 tickets, £1 per ticket, and you can win a limited edition signed Alan Shearer ball. Enter now at nufcmatters.com. If you have a look on our website, we've also got a vast range of mugs, T-shirts, cups, and whatever else takes your fancy. The Isaac T-shirt is proven popular this month, $16.99 plus delivery from nufcmatters.com. Don't forget as well, we do a, a range of events over the course of the year. We have Peter Beardsley, an up-close and personal evening at the Time Mouse Surf Cafe. Limited tickets remain 25th of April. Get them now from surfcafetimemouth.co.uk or from ticketweb.uk. There's also an evening with Peter Beardsley on May the 19th at the Tyneside Irish Centre. And you can get tickets from newcastlelegends.com and tickets are £50. Don't forget our end of season do takes place 27th of May, 7 o'clock at the Tyneside Irish Centre. Tickets for that one are a tenner. NUFCmatters.com is where you can get your tickets for that. In June, Thursday the 1st of June to be precise, Rob Lee will be at Louis Liquor Store in the Big Market in Newcastle. And tickets for that are available direct from the venue. And an evening with Rob Lee, Lee Clark and John Beresford takes place the next evening on Friday the 2nd of June at the Grand Hotel in Gosforth. This is a charity event and tables are of £10, £700 and you can book them by contacting natalie at healandtour.org.uk or visiting their website. In July, Gavin Peacock is in Newcastle on July the 10th at the Tyneside Iris Centre. Tickets for that are available from nufcmatters.com and he also... Uh, takes uh, an evening with at the Surf Cafe in Tynemouth on the 11th of July. So get your tickets direct from the venue for that one as well. And if you're a boxing fan, the Night of Champions, Ricky Hatton, Frank Bruno, Nigel Benn and Joe Calzaghi takes place at the Fed. Uh, and that will be taking place on the 16th of June. More dates to be added. Tickets from all those events, www.goldstarpromotions.co.uk